Hello guys, this is Brick, and this is a Sony VCR that I got from the Salvation Army a few days ago. The model number is SLVN51. I tested this VCR out while I was at the Salvation Army, and when I tested this VCR out, I put in a tape in, and, and for some reason it took a while for it to actually play, but then this VCR started to work properly. Now you can see this VCR costs only $6. I only paid $7 for this. Sticker here saying if this product is not working properly, do not return to the store. Just call customer service. It says, uh, made in China. There's a serial number. AV ports, of course, channel 3, channel 4, and the antenna in and out ports. So, yes, I'm going to open this uh, VCR and we will see the inside. So, as you can see, this VCR has a, a, a similar modern uh, me mechanism and this is this is more likely a similar mechanism to the uh, Samsung mechanism that is also on my more modern uh, so Sony uh, VCR which has a DVD player as well as you can see here's the loading motor right here there's the pin the pinch roller as you can see like most modern VCRs has the ribbon cable that connects many things which are mostly on modern VCRs as you can see I think there might be a date code on this which I think this VCR is probably made in uh, two, uh, 2002 but I'm not too sure about that if, if you know the correct uh, year this VCR is made just let me know in the comments but anyways I'm going to test out a VHS tape Here's a blank tape where I randomly recorded um, footage off of TV. Yep. I don't know, I might have to remove that piece right there, if, as you can see, but you can see the uh, tape is being played. Just pause it. I don't have a remote for this. They didn't have a remote for this VCR at the Salvation Army. Play. Stop. Fast forward. Very fast, too. And of course, this uh, VCR has the Sony Flash Rewind, where this VCR can rewind the tape in 60 seconds. Now let's rewind the tape. Well, for some reason the VCR ejected itself. I might have to clean this VCR if I have to. Now let's try rewinding this tape again. There we go.
I want to see if I can this can rewind faster. There we go. I just had to stop, press the rewind button again, and there we go. It's very fast rewind. Yeah, I don't know why it's making that noise. Maybe I need to clean this. Okay, stop for a little bit. Then just rewinds in uh, the rest of the tape in a slower speed. Just inject the tape. And yeah, there you go. I might as well probably uh, cl uh, clean a lot of this uh, VCR off because I did get this from a thrift store. I'll use Q-tips and rubbing alcohol. So after I do that, I'll come right back. Alrighty, I just cleaned uh, most of the dirty spots of this uh, VCR with some Q-tips and some rubbing alcohol. I wasn't able to get all of them, but there, there was a whole lot of dirty spots since this VCR came from a thrift store. I also broke off this little thing here that was on it, this auto head cleaner from the head drum, as that is not really necessary. So now I've got this VCR connected to a DVD recorder, and I'm going to... See if I can get high quality footage of the quality of this uh, VCR without having to film onto the TV. If for some reason the DVD recorder I'm using is not working right or I can't get the footage from the DVD or the DVD recorder doesn't finalize, I'll have to use the camera to film what is on the TV from, the, from this VCR. <laughs> anyway, so that's just what, what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using this head cleaner tape just so I won't use anything copyrighted for this VCR and that's what I'm going to use as a test footage to see how good the quality is on this VCR. I'm going to put record on the DVD recorder and here we go. Fifth cleaning. Your video and audio heads will now be cleaned. This is a mono audio test. Stereo audio test, right channel. Stereo audio test, left channel. Do not press stop. Leave VCR in play and you press and hold the rewind scan search button until tape is fully rewound. Anyways, that was about all. Uh, um, that, and that was the quality of this VCR I just used, you just, as you just saw. So that was about all for this review. I'm going to give this VCR a three and a half out of five. It's an alright VCR and it's slightly better than a lot of the cheap VCRs. It's probably as, as good as some of the Orion VCRs I've used before from this uh, time. But it's just not as good as the only VCR, the Samsung mechanism that I have with auto tracking. What I decided to do was I'll just use, I'll just use my other DVD recorder to finalize and that's how you'll see the footage anyway. So anyways, that, that, that's about all. Thank you, thank you guys for, for watching, and 
Um, please stay tuned to this channel to see a, a, a more v VCR reviews and other electronics videos and also continuations to uh, vid uh, videos I'm still currently doing on this channel. Anyways, that was about all. I'm out.